it's like a tornado in my life that has shattered every piece in my life. Nebras Mawson wishes she could go back in time. I can't reverse the clock. She's gone. Mawson lost her daughter Aaliyah before she even gave birth. Mawson says when she was seven months pregnant, she felt like her OBGYN office was a bit impersonal. So she did some research online and found the birthplace in Taylor. I walk in this place very serene, very organized. They have a wall full of babies' uh, pictures. Mawson says the midwife who handled her care was also the director of the birthplace. Mawson says Bridget Chipka's resume on her website seemed impressive. She has sold me a very good story and I believed her. Mawson says her original obstetrician had diagnosed her with gestational diabetes. But Mawson says Chipka convinced her that she didn't really have the condition, which can jeopardize the life of a baby if it's not properly treated. Even though when sometimes I experience to her like I feel sometimes dizzy when I drive. She will tell me it's just part of pregnancy. But Mawson and her husband got worried when she went nearly four weeks past her due date. Mawson says the midwife kept reassuring her that everything was fine, but it wasn't. I just felt really sick and I told her I don't feel any contractions anymore, nothing. So told me it's okay, you stay home. Mawson says she felt like she was dying. She said, okay, no, you have to go to the hospital because I don't know what's going on. We went in, they asked my husband, what is her due date? And they start running. There was no heartbeat. There's no heartbeat. Hospital records indicate both mother and baby had a severe infection and Mawson was rushed to surgery. She shattered our dreams, totally. I end up with a dead baby in my lap. Nebras Mawson had no idea that in Michigan, midwives are not licensed by the state. Bridget Chipka is called a direct entry midwife, or DEM. DEMs are not required to have any sort of formal training. In fact, they can be self-taught. They're operating on their own without any oversight by the legislature, without any oversight by the Board of Medicine, without any oversight by anyone. Brian McKean has filed a notice with the court saying he intends to sue Chipka on behalf of Mawson and her deceased daughter. McKean says he believes the baby could have been saved if the midwife had transferred Mawson's care to a doctor before she was nearly four weeks past her due date. Babies' lives are being needlessly endangered by a woman who's not certified, who's not licensed. Gestational diabetes can be very risky to the baby. Dr. Brian Mason is a perinatologist who specializes in treating high-risk pregnancies at St. John Hospital. When uh, heart rate goes up, usually you're going to feel a movement around the same time. Dr. Mason did not treat Mawson, but he says in general, once a gestational diabetic reaches 32 weeks, she must be monitored closely with non-stress tests, which monitor the baby's heart rate and ultrasound. Sounds. He also says he doesn't like gestational diabetics to go beyond 39 weeks, one week sooner than the traditional 40-week due date. There's a great increased risk from 39 weeks onward of in utero fetal distress and even fetal demise. In Michigan, there are several types of midwives. Hospitals like St. John in Detroit use certified nurse midwives for mothers who want a more natural birth experience. They are licensed as nurses and have special certifications for midwifery. Certified nurse midwives typically deliver in a hospital room that's more bedroom than delivery room, but doctors are nearby in case intervention is needed. Then there are the direct entry midwives who deliver babies at home or in independent birthing centers. Some DEMs choose to become certified professional midwives or CPMs. CPMs undergo extensive training and study to get certified by the North American Registry of Midwives or NARM. In fact, Bridget Chipka used to be a CPM until NARM took the rare step of revoking her credential back in 2004. While NARM officials say they can't give us details, they did receive several complaints about Chipka, and NARM determined that she violated their policy. While NARM can take a midwife's credential, they only set standards. Unlike a state licensing board, NARM has no real authority to make sure a midwife who's lost her credential has stopped practicing. Bridget Chipka would not talk to Action News on camera because of the lawsuit that will soon be filed. But she did tell me she has delivered about 750 babies successfully, and she says only three of them have died. Chipka also would not discuss why her NARM credential has been revoked.
Chipka denies that she waited nearly four weeks after Mawson's due date to advise her to go to the hospital. She also says that she's still working as a midwife, even though her birth center is now closed. We want to be licensed because we want to make sure that there's a standard of care that consumers are protected. Kate Mazzara is a certified professional midwife and as a member of the Michigan Midwives Association, she's trying to get Lansing to pass a law to license midwives. 25 other states already do that and a licensing board would then be able to hear complaints and take action against midwives if problems arise. I want to make sure that these moms and these babies are birthing in a safe way and the midwifery model of care has been shown to be an extremely safe option for families but there should be that safety mechanism to which midwives can be held accountable. Mazzara and others insist the sad stories are rare and that home births are a beautiful natural experience. Midwives are also more economical, yet another reason why the number of home births has jumped 20 percent in recent years. As for Nebraska Mawson, she now has a son, but she was so traumatized from her daughter's death she left the state to give birth. I hope no one will experience what we've been through and what we are still going through. State Representative Ed McBroom is about to introduce a bill that would require all midwives in Michigan to be licensed. If you would like more information on the proposed law and on midwives in Michigan, please head to our website, wxyz.com. I'm Heather Catalo, Channel 7 Action News.